This demonstration will illustrate how to add proposed contours or finished grading for your leach field. Um, I'm showing a field here with no other structures so that we can be focused on just what we're doing to the field. Uh, but you can see I've already contoured it. And the dashed lines represent the odd one foot contour elevations. So for the purposes of this tutorial, uh, I've placed the leach field such that the bottom of the pipe is at grade. And I'm using the 103 uh, elevation contour. So the first thing we need to do <coughs> is uh, place a rectangle around the field. So I choose the rectangle command in AutoCAD and I want the rectangle to be oriented with uh, the field so I've also selected rotate as part of that command and then I select the other corner of the field. So we now have a polygon, a uh, polyline around the entire perimeter of the pipe. In New Hampshire you're required to have a five foot flat area around the field before you transition to your three to one side slopes. And for this example, we're going to assume the field is level. So we want to draw the polyline that represents the extent of the fill before it transitions. So we're going to offset this poly, this polyline that we just created by five feet. So we give it the offset command, type in five select the polyline and now select the side that you want the line to be offset. Now I use the command called uh, set offset gap type which is a ridiculously long variable name uh, to give you these rounded corners or fillets as part of the offset command you could do it the hard way and just offset the square box and then round or fill it each of the corners. So now what we've got here is a line of intersection between the flat, the top of the finish grade, and where it begins to transition to a 3 to 1. Now because our field was placed at the 103 contour at grade, we know that the finish elevation or the finish grade over the field is going to be 105. So this represents the 105 contour, proposed contour. Now we want to show our grading such that it, um, it integrates or it blends with the existing terrain uh, at the two foot contours. So the next contour that we want to show is the 104. Well with a 3 to 1 slope obviously there is a 1 foot change in vertical elevation from 105 to 104 and because it's a 3 to 1 slope we have to offset horizontally 3 feet. So we're going to offset this line that we just created 3 feet. That now represents the 104 contour. The next contour we want to show is the 102 because we only want to show two foot increments with the exception of the first or the highest elevation over the field which was the 105. So this time we're going to change two feet in vertical elevation which means that we're going to have to offset six feet. So that's the 104, that is now the 102, and do we need a 100? Um, well, we can put in what would be the 100 contour, but you can see the 100 contour is way down here. So we do not need to show the 100. 
We now have to take a look at <coughs> our contour lines and see if they intersect the existing terrain at the appropriate location. Now you remember we have the 105 contour, the 104, and then the 102. So we want to start by grading the 105 into the 105 contour. So uh, the way I do it, now you could choose to just leave this as a mound where we have a 105 contour and then it slopes downward to the terrain. But for illustrative purposes we're not going to do that. So what I like to do is I select the trim command, select the polyline, and then if you touch it again it will break it or trim it uh, where you have selected it. So I'm going to repeat that and get rid of these fillets. Now what I want to do is have this 105 contour extend to the existing terrain. So I'm going to use the extend command, select that polyline which represents the 105 contour, and now I'm going to select the ends of my polyline. We've now shown a flat grade over the field back to the existing terrain. You might want to do this if there was a home here and the the owner wanted a walk out and you were trying to accomplish a flat area for recreational purposes or something to that effect. So the next contour we have to deal with is the 104. So let's do the same thing. Select the trim command, select your polyline, and again where you touch it it will trim. We're going to extend to the 104 contour and select the ends of your polyline. So we only have one more contour to deal with and that's the 102. Only this time we're not extending anything, we're trimming. Select the trim command, the 102 contour, and now we're going to trim this polyline back to the 102 contour. And uh, as we showed earlier, we didn't require the 100 uh, contour because uh, it, that would have uh, proposed a cut into the hillside. Um, so we're just going to let it transition from the 102 naturally back to the existing terrain. Uh, all we'd be left to do now is to label these polylines, which I'll just do quickly. And I'm just going to, while I have it in this mode, I'm just going to go ahead and create the other labels. There are other ways to do this, but this is one of the easier ways. And if you choose to, you can break your polylines, which represent the proposed fill around those labels. And that is how you show the finished grading around the leach veil for a flat field. We're now going to do a sloping field using this same bed in this same location but we're now going to assume that it's sloping. But for this, uh, for this demonstration, we've shown how it can be done for a flat or a level field.